Aloha and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. It is January 21st, Saturday, around noon here in Phoenix. It is a rainy day here in the Sonoran Desert. But let's get into this because there's some good news, some big news to tell you. <laughs> the sun, like I said yesterday, emitted quite a, a decent amount of plasma, let's just say. And there's more evidence of it today. I get to show you and just kind of boast about how important yesterday's wave actually was. I don't know if you watched, but the video actually paused multiple times, making me look at this flare and this this flare, this coronal mass ejection situation that happened on the sun because it's supposed to be somewhat earth facing. And as you can see in this model, it certainly will graze earth, at least according to this one. So we're going to be expecting that as you can see the date in the top left here, expecting that around, let's just see one more time, the 23rd, I would say. But as you can see, we're already bodying another wave that had rolled through by this point already on the 20th. <laughs> so we're keeping up with the waves here at Ascension Diaries. Each wave has been marked and been watched since the beginning of this year. And we are gently but furiously watching Solar Cycle 25 as the data reveals itself. Here is another view of this wave as it rolls through the solar system. Pretty impressive imagery. It hopefully is giving you the impression that there is some plasma on the way. <laughs> you can also see the absolute coverage that the sun really did get from that episode. It's a much better view of that here on the left. So you can see CME number one, two, and three. We're more concerned about the third one. I've never seen actually this much purple going on, but I don't watch this one particularly as often, but I can add it into the queue for the next videos. But I was hearing there was three different projections that came out. As you can see, they went in all different directions. Basically, the sun had an overall, kind of an overall burp in my opinion. And I'm seeing evidence of that. It was a good day yesterday. The 20th gave off that shift into Aquarius season really did show off. The sun really showed off. There was flares after as well, a few that were still coming off. So like I said, it was sh the sun was just moving plasma out in all directions. <laughs> Sorry. I had something funny to say about this and the hobbits. But then I was like, oh, maybe I better not. But... Nature is hauling some big energies is kind of the shamanic clue in that video you just saw. Let's look again at the, I would say, the second biggest and the third, sorry, the biggest and the second biggest event. The, I believe the biggest event probably was the one that was towards Earth and it looked like a, like lips were kissing or smooching out this big old flare. I had made a video about it yesterday. It did pretty good. The other flares, the other coronal mass ejections over here, I shouldn't say they're flares, they're filaments. There wasn't exactly x-ray radiation that just, you know, pummeled us with these ones. And let me see, let me grab that data for us so we can look at what the x-ray radiation really did. Because it's funny how a lot of this plasma can exit the sun. We can have these huge filaments come off, but there isn't exactly a correlating solar flare in that space that is very powerful which is funny. So the flares often will cause a coronal mass ejection, those filaments that you're seeing, but it's not always the case, I would say. I know that is, if you look that up, that's true. I, I've been reading what they tell people about coronal mass ejections, but I believe that there likely was a correlating flare with each of those, but it perhaps wasn't very strong or you know, on the extreme end of things, maybe this data isn't correct, right? So we got to have that conversation also because we saw these could have been those waves, <laughs> you know? The waves are kind of distinct, but they're all in C-class range. And the flare, we didn't get any flare alerts along with this. It was all a little bit, I would say, fluffy almost. But one of the beautiful things, which I, let's see if it's still here, the evidence of it right here, is that this sunspot group that just rolled around is again number 144. So we are currently on the solar face 
or the earth facing disc here i believe maybe it is the entire sun i'm actually not sure if they count sunspots on the back maybe it's because they can't verify 100 percent using that tech watching the far side of the sun yet i'm not 100 percent on that so i apologize but there is apparently 144 distinguished little dotties on this surface right now. So take a good look. This is our sun with a few filters to help us kind of see through the brightness intensity here. But we are concerned about sunspots. You know, these are the spots where the solar flares come out. The X5 that we had at the beginning of this month, right? They came out of one of these. <laughs> So sunspots are always a concern, but hey, I literally got butterflies. I can't even tell you when I saw the 144 again. So this isn't even, this has happened very recently where this has been the sunspot number. And it was right after another big episode like this. I remember decently, but it's hard to remember everything. But I'm under that impression that yes, this is kind of cool. And we're going to swing the news. So this happened. The sun goes a little bit wacky. We see the footage. We're seeing the explosion of the CMEs. Not a crazy amount of flares connected to it. So our radiation levels aren't going nuts. But the plasma amounts are going high. And maybe we'll have a S1 proton storm. Because there's a little bit of fuzz, as you can see as well, coming out of the sun. So it could happen. But what did happen, maybe this pushed... An object. I'm not sure how long they were watching this asteroid, but there was an asteroid that impacted Earth yesterday in not far from Berlin, the famous German city. I've been to Berlin. Lots of stuff flying through the sky over there, so it's. I'm glad that they saw this, and I assume they've collected the matter and this visitation. It happened. But yeah, look, we have the Earth directed CME. It's not just me telling you that. The next few days are going to be bathing in that episode that the sun just gave us. We had a few days off, though. We really did. We really did. And the sunspots, this is the one that I liked because it looked like it was giving a kiss right here. That was the earth-facing episode, too. So it looks like we were being given a big kiss. So I think the energy that's going to come through is going to be good <laughs> because I'm a girly girl and that's what kisses are supposed to be okay and these kisses went in other directions we can go back and look what planets they went towards but this this one didn't look as much like a kiss this one was pretty crazy pretty fun kind of volcanic looking kind of nice like it's obviously every angle is going to look different it's all fractal artwork pretty much at the end of the day but it is fascinating to see what we're capable of watching and just the movement of energy on the surface of the sun. So cool. They're expecting a geomagnetic storm basically because of when, what the sun did and blew in all directions pretty much. <laughs> Not all at once though, but all directions it looked like. So we're going to be getting our dose, it looks like, heaviest on the 22nd and 23rd of January according to the officials here. So I normally just take their word for it. Here is this asteroid that came through, burning up in the atmosphere, breaking apart, but still, I'm sure, leaving behind some stuff. So just don't forget that we're always receiving new information from the matter of space. And just keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that in your local areas as well. And it's funny, too, because there is actually no scheduled meteor showers at all. This asteroid, again, seemed to have been a bit of a rogue. But hey, it could have been pushed into our atmosphere from the solar activity. I, I wonder if that's just me being silly or if that's an actual conversation we can have. But here is the little faint object. Kind of looks like it's spinning, rotating a little bit. Obviously, it's very hard to tell what it actually looks like. We had a volcano erupt yesterday over in Indonesia. It was, again, shooting off a lot into the atmosphere. This is something, again, not everybody's talking about, but all these volcanic eruptions sending all this ash into the air, some of them in uh, Central America actually go off 
pretty frequently, some of them on a daily basis. So they're constantly kind of giving that to the environment. But so is the sun, you know, the sun is also releasing these waves all the time, subtle or intense. We are bodying them, we deal with it. And each of these waves stokes volcanic activity and earthquake activity. So we're going to be watching out for the earthquakes today, tomorrow, the next day, just because of this big old kiss that we did get. And I can show you it in all different angstroms over here, all different lenses. It's great, too, that there was multiple at the same time. I am going to go back and look at the planetary directions and see this one that kind of looked, that's Earth-facing. Yeah, that one, that one was, that one was fun. Let's go back. I'm going to look real quick. Let's look at the, is this going to be it or no? It's not her. There she is. Yes. So it's going. Oh, darn. I wish we had that other model back. Let's look at the planets. All right. So the sun certainly sent off some energy towards these guys over here. We saw that at the beginning. Then towards Saturn, maybe even a little bit towards Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, and then towards us but not quite. It kind of hit us on this side. So it's kind of maybe being pulled over by Uranus and Jupiter as well. Potentially even the moon helping it out, kind of hitting it this direction. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'd like to see the charts of all the magnetic lines and so on. And it's probably crazy complex, like looking at hair moving around, but it would be neat. I'd like to look at those models if you guys have any about the electromagnetic cords between the sun and the planets, those models. I would love to see that. That would be so cool to look at physically. I can picture it in my head, but if anyone's rendered that, I'd love to look at it. Let's look at the global consciousness dot while I kind of rethink. How are we doing? I'm having a blank moment. Okay, so we're going to the green dot. Not so bad. We spent a few moments in the blue the last 24 hours. We've spent a few moments in the red last 24 hours. We've been feeling... I mean, we got a little pissed off earlier this morning, a few hours ago. You weren't the only one. It looks like a little bit of a, a little bit of grumpy, grumpy over there. And hey, who knows? Maybe they just need to look at more videos of this asteroid burning up over by Berlin. <laughs> or this big filament that is looking like an alien walking on the surface of the sun. It wasn't as crazy as some of them I've seen, but it is funny to keep the conversation going, especially because of how humongous this is. But really, projecting yourself to do such a thing, I don't think that's too far-fetched at the end of the day. We are going to talk about Turkey, because they seem to, at least in certain areas, be getting a massive amount of snow that they're managing with their big tractors, big boy tractors. So, trying to keep everybody in and out of their villages. Some villages are having some struggles because of some landslides. There's a little bit of grooming, manicuring going on. Mother Earth is shifting some things around, stopping some pathways of travel, opening up more. Pretty common. Here's that object again coming in, that asteroid coming in over by Germany. There is a massive amount of wind pushing through the entire UK right now. There's a big sweep of energy going through the UK. They might even get some tornadoes, which will be kind of funny. I'd love to see tornado videos where these guys and their accents are cussing out tornadoes. <clears throat> I think that would be funny because all I hear is the people in Florida and in the South well, most of the people who are used to it here in the United States, they don't even film them anymore. Can I just get the heck out of the way? Because they don't mess around sometimes. Okay, so here's the Russian charts. About an hour ago, everything looks kind of weird, but nothing substantial. I would say a little amplitude blast up to 14. That's very, very small. But scaling everything down, as soon as things get quiet, even the more subtle things make sense and they are impacting us here's the west coast the un of pretty much north america or the whole west western hemisphere and northwestern hemisphere here big rolling clouds big energy 
moving around. Fascinating, the meteorologists who love their jobs. Here's that volcano at another angle here in Indonesia, just to give you a perspective of all that ash going into the atmosphere today. I mean, not crazy, but uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be visible from space for sure, but nothing like Tonga so far. We haven't topped Tonga in a little bit. Okay, nice. Another flare. Oh, great. Just some more beauty, beauty moments of the sun, just giving these filaments out, handing them out. <laughs> oh, this one was filmed over by Prague, it looks like, of the asteroid. Ta-da! Got pretty bright, burned a little green. Green and white. Oh, this was funny. The cost of living back in 1938. And uh, tuition being $420 at Harvard. I thought that was so funny. Hilarious. Okay, earthquakes going to pick up. We've got some over in Brazil. Brazil coming up. We're going to get to that in a second. Again, we're just looking at these crazy winds coming across now the United States as well. Just showing you the impact of one of the major mountains here in the United States. One of the sacred sites, I would say, is Mount Rainier. Definitely determines the climatary. <laughs> I would say the climate behind it. It is the rock and the river, as they say. It's a fascinating place. Mars being cool, getting a lot of water. Iceland being cool, needing to re redo their electrical infrastructure because the lava like melted through it. So they got to put up some power lines. Whoop. Come on. I wasn't ready for that. Australia being a very, very hot today. They're getting, so we're getting tornado warnings in the United Kingdom. And then over here in the, the southern kingdom down here is getting major heat, apparently. So you guys be careful out there. Don't turn to obsidian, but definitely collect some if you can. Excellent tool. I keep getting signs about giraffes being tra like being transported, and I can't tell. I if like to move it, move it. <laughs> Literally, I can't tell what the sign is. But those of you shamans out there seeing this, if this was a dream, you're like, okay, what are we moving? We're moving a very large and kind of difficult and awkward asset. Because we're innovative and when we need to, we can, it seems like. So the giraffes are being transported. I'm getting more information about Michael Jackson and that sort of career as it had happened and just struggling through it, I'll be honest with you, because this just knowing what I know about the Super Bowl <laughs> to have, have brought deliberately this many children to do this performance for this particular Super Bowl <laughs> would... Um, it just makes me sick and honestly it's crazy because this is the year I was born so I wasn't born yet I was in the womb for this oh no I wasn't even I was yet to be conceived this was like right before I got conceived that's so weird can't believe I'm capturing this moment of realization but legit the amount of children that they brought to this for this performance it just makes me feel very uncomfortable <laughs> so it's funny how that's all wrapped up again with accidentally with my life so that's we're gonna move on from that <laughs> real quick give you some other space weather updates the sun's surface what it's up to what it's doing where's the moon the moon is in gemini oh that explains why i'm talking about my deep past just gonna talk 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 like it's nothing okay let's see we have no meteors. I got to show you that. There's the evidence of that. No meteor showers scheduled. So those asteroids, we don't know what they're up to. What's up with that? Still, I haven't heard the explanation yet. The greed factor here in the market, as the top three greedy whatevers go down, all of them almost are going down. All of the top, like, 12, the top, wow, the market's really dumping, I would say, in this moment. So people are losing value a little bit on earth so we are but we're going we're still a little bit cohesive here so nobody's freaking out about it it's just having a little bit of a moment in the markets all right let's look at the earthquakes did i miss anybody anybody strong and specific over here this is probably 
under play down here. Whose islands are those? Are those the Sandwich Islands? Oh no, those are... Whose islands are these? I actually don't know. We're going to have to check a different map. They're not over here on this one. Unless I zoom in, maybe. Here we go. Who is this? The Southwest Indian Ridge. Okay, great. So they're having a major earthquake. I did post about this briefly yesterday on my Instagram. The earthquake alerts that I get on my phone. Really quick and easy. Download all these apps on your phone that show you earthquakes, show you solar flares. They help a lot. Wow, there's a ton of shaking happening all the way down North and South America. This whole place is shook. So we're going to keep an eye on that for sure. Russia, yes. Let's look at the lightning factor. Not a lot of lightning grounding in compared to the usual, but that's probably going to increase in the next couple days. Over here by off of the south waters of Australia seems to be grounding in. Interesting. Let's look at the rain. Let's see if they're at even... Okay, let's go to Turkey because they're getting a ton of snow. So this is where all their snow is kind of hanging out. <laughs> In certain spots. Moderate rain. Looks like their snowfall has calmed down. Very good. Yeah, that's probably why they're out there scooping it now because it's calmed down. Everything's chilling out. The UK is getting busy today. It is... This whole storm must have just pushed right over. I wasn't watching close enough. There's our storm. Portland's still recovering. <laughs> Seattle is getting some energy. A couple cyclones. Everybody is looking pretty normal. Nothing too much has happened since yesterday. These storms are just moving along in their progress, which is good. We want them to do that. What is the solar wind going to be bringing us? Apparently nothing. Had a drink of my tea. Still struggling. Is the aurora going to go up? Yes. Tomorrow and the next day, the 22nd, 23rd, the aurora is certainly going to go up. The solar flare, I mean the solar wind data is going to get confusing. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, you guys. It means a lot to me to see that this is reaching people and it's just one of the only ways to know is if you subscribe pretty much that's one of the only ways to know if this is actually getting out there awesome so a little bit of solar wind impacting already that pressure is going to go up though we're going to expect to see that to increase over the next two days so this is going to be the fun we're going to have monday tuesday so we're going to watch the wave come out or come through Earth's aura, as you may want to say. And while we do so, let's look at the Mayan calendar. Yesterday was my one of my days, the yellow magnetic human. I forgot to mention it to you guys, so I meant to, but I forgot. Today, we have the red lunar skywalker, pretty cool. White northern castle of crossing, earth family, signal, clan of truth. Galactic activation portal. I polarize in order to explore. Stabilizing wakefulness. I seal the output of space with the lunar tone of challenge. I'm guided by the power of life force. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. Excellent. So if you're going to be talking about polarizing topics today in order to kind of understand both sides better, maybe it's just in the air. It's just the Mayan astrology. Give it a chance. Um, Jupiter, instead of Zeus, or Jove, even, the Roman god, which is similar to Zeus. It seems like there was a discrepancy or there is an interjection with me as a psychic kind of being like, hey, I think those two were slightly off. They aren't as close as you think, or one was used to defame the other, something like that. It seems like there's a little bit of drama that was coming through for me yesterday. So those of you who aren't as familiar with Jupiter versus Zeus, 
maybe look into that. See what you notice is the difference between those two characters and perhaps why there's a difference. Greece and Rome having their differences. Only one of the major historical, um, I would say, interests of many of us, at least in the West. But there's a lot that the East is yet to even reveal to all of us. But it's coming soon, and I'm excited. We are promoting the task of world peace this year as an intention to be that and experience that and see that in our reality. While others are excited to talk about polarity and the potential for wars and for destruction. But even civil wars have the word civil in them. And I think civility can be, I would say, demonstrated by all of us as we continue to morph our community to work for all of us better. So I just wanted to give you that prep, that energy. If you would like to join me now in a moment of meditation while we watch what the sun has handed towards us. Here, I'm going to switch to the other screen even get an even closer view about what the sun has been up to. We're going to meditate on this. We're going to see what visual symbol comes forward. We didn't do this yesterday, but we're going to do it today. I'm going to see what the global consciousness dot is at right now. Ooh, it's greener. We're getting better at this. We were in the deep purples last time, so we're doing good. We're at the green. We're remembering to do the meditation today, so that's fantastic. Let's take a deep breath in. Hold and let go. Close your eyes if you can. Deep breath in. Hold. Let it go more. Deep breath in. Hold. Wait for the message. Let it go. And we're one more breath by yourself. As I train as well through meditation, this is going to make more sense, I hope, throughout the videos. But just to share with you, as you maybe continue this meditation by yourself, I was visualizing barrels, drums, and like Donkey Kong energy. So that was interesting. And I'm not quite sure how to explain that yet, but hey, maybe it'll make total sense in like an hour. Might be some breaking news. Who knows? Whatever symbols you saw, whatever message that you did get in this meditation, I'd be super interested to hear. Please share if you are comfortable and help make everyone feel more comfortable engaging in meditation by doing so. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And shout out to all my Patreon members. You guys are the OGs making me get up in the morning. You can join for free or donate a little bit, but all of y'all, I love you so much. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for showing me the support that you can. Just being here means so much. Appreciate you. And onward to the next moment. Bye, guys. <laughs>